What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope all of you are doing well out there today. Happy Sunday to you guys. Before I get into today's video, guys, I want to show you something that I bought for my refrigerator. I bought this carrying case for my refrigerator. It's insulated inside, and it has two Velcro strips across this side, three across the front, and another two on the other side. It has uh, holes where you can actually carry the uh, refrigerator. It also has uh, mesh netting where the ventilation uh, on the fridge uh, are. So to get inside my fridge, I just unsnap all of the Velcros around. As you can see, it has a little bit of insulation in it. It's not the thickest of insulation, but I guess the whole point of it is not to serve as something that helps keep everything cool in it but to allow you to carry the fridge much easier from one point to another so i can easily get into my fridge now the whole inside of the bag has this little insulation material in it as well so i close it back up just that easy i really like this it's really nice all right, guys, so let's get into today's video. Today's video, guys, is all about... It's all about that iconic video that brought so many of you guys here to the FOA community, and that is the corned beef hash and grits video. So today, I'm going to be doing a, kind of like a sequel of that video. In the comment section of that video, a guy mentioned that he really likes corned beef hash, but he likes roast beef hash even better. Now, honestly, I've never even heard of roast beef hash. So it piqued my curiosity. So when I was in Baltimore two weekends ago and I was at the grocery store, I kind it came to me. So I kind of mosey on over and I found the corned beef. <clears throat> and then lo and behold, right next to it was the roast beef hash. Then when I got back up to the PA, I went to my grocery store and once again, lo and behold, the roast beef hash was right next to the corned beef hash. It's from the same company and Hormel, and it's the same red can. So today, guys, it's going to be the battle of the hashes. Corned beef hash, roast beef hash. I want to see if there's a difference in taste as if, is there a difference in the way they look and let's get into it all right to go along with that corned beef hash i'm going to be making two packages of the instant butter grits butter grits butter grits because when I made that video, I forgot to buy the butter. And you guys, you guys let me have it in the comment section. <laughs> no butter, where's the butter? No sugar, no milk, no... <laughs> well, I'm better prepared today. So I'm going to be making some butter grits, instant butter grits. And I also have the water, uh, the water, the water boiling for the grits. So let's go ahead and then put these into the bowl. You can see the butter bits in there. See the little yellow little pieces of butter? I'm gonna drop a little pepper in there. Cause y'all know how I love my pepper. Once again, badaya, badaya, badaya. It's so freshly grounded. Oh my God, love the pepper. All right, now also I'm going to be fixing a chorizo patty because I have some of that chorizo left from over the weekend. Uh, the camping trip and I'm going to make a patty with that. So let's get into that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I gotta find it first. All right, I found it. <laughs> Y'all like my editing skills? <laughs> make a little chorizo patty. I'm not even gonna make a patty. I'm just gonna put it in here like this. And it's gonna come out the way it's gonna come out. If I can get it out of here. Uh oh. All right, guys, we're gonna get that patty going. The water should be finished boiling in a minute. And then we're gonna get the two hashes in the pot, in the pan. All right, guys, my chorizo patty is finished. I have both of the hashes in the pan. I'm about to heat them up. Uh, this is the corned beef hash, <clears throat> the roast beef hash. It's not that much difference in color. The roast beef hash, I kind of, for some reason, thought that that would be a little bit darker, uh, much more darker than it is. And it is uh, darker than the corned beef hash, but I thought it would be a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit more darker. But let's see what's going on. All right, we'll get the hash uh, heated up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna run around and check on the water that's bo uh, boiling in the kettle and we can get the grits going. So when that's heated up, it's time for breakfast. Now just have to constantly stir this grits up so that it won't clunk up and so that every piece of it will get done. It's a little hot this bowl. <laughs> It's definitely thickening up.
some guy just now pulled his motorcycle out. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna get that hash a little bit longer to heat up, and then we're gonna plate up and have the battle of the hashes. All right, guys, I'm all done. I have the roast corned beef hash right here, the roast beef hash there, my little so breakfast sausage in the middle there. So let's give it a taste. This is the corned beef hash. Oh my God, I love corned beef hash. Mm. Mm. Ooh, boy. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. -mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. Mm. Wow. I love some corned beef hash, guys. Mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, Anthony, how about the roast beef? Don't neglect the roast beef. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Wow. These instant grits are really good. I've never made instant grits before. I always bought the little uh, round or little circle box of them, the five minute grits. This is my uh, first time trying the uh, instant butter grits. Mm. All right, I'm gonna tell you some of this roast beef without the grits. Okay, I like it, but I don't like it better than the corned beef hash. I think the corned beef hash to me tastes a lot better. Mmm. Ooh, yes. Mmm. Yes, the corned beef hash definitely tastes better to me. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Mm. Sorry, roast beef hash. <laughs> you don't make the cut. <laughs> and I probably will not buy the roast beef hash anymore. Oh man, I love corned beef hash. Oh boy, that was so good. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, you know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. Corned beef, corned beef, corned beef, corned beef, corned beef. <laughs>